Hello crafters and welcome to this week's update. I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page and Beyond, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafting community. And I'm really excited for you to be here for this week's update. Now, of course, we are smack bang heading into 2021 in the middle of January. So today we're going to have a dash of inspiration and of course, news for the Bendigo show. Now, firstly, our dash of inspiration, I want you to pause and really reflect as you are heading into the new year and thinking about, you know, what your craft might look like. If you're thinking about how can you be more creative, how do you get more creative time, um, whether you've got a whole heap of time at the moment or whether you're waiting for the kids to get back, it doesn't matter. What I want you to encourage to do is to make sure that you are doing you. So what do I mean by that? You know, there is so much inspiration on the internet and sometimes it can be so overwhelming. There's 10 day challenges, there's 100 day challenges, there's suggestions of 30 minutes a day, there's signing up for this, signing up for that. There's so many different ways to find inspiration and it can be really, really overwhelming. So what I want to suggest you to do is that you just pause and really consider what works for you. You do you. Now, the suggestion of 30 minutes a day might be great for some people, but for others, it could be completely overwhelming. So what we don't want to do is try and think we're trying to encourage ourselves and we're actually just getting ourselves so overwhelmed that we get nothing done. So if setting aside 30 minutes works for you, that's fantastic. Get it into your schedule, sit down every day and just have fun. If you think 30 minutes is a little bit overwhelming and you're not quite sure how you'd fit it in, then perhaps a shorter time frame would make sense. Maybe it is just five or 10 minutes while you're waiting for the kettle to boil to sort through a few things or to do some stamping or to do some coloring. Or if a 100 day challenge would work for you, and there's so many different ones on Facebook and Instagram, then jump in and commit to it. And again, if you miss some of the prompts or if you get to a point where it's not making sense or it's just not working, then again, step back. You do you, figure out what it is that inspires you to get crafting and then try that. And again, if it works for you, fantastic, keep going. If it doesn't, step back, try and understand why it didn't work and then try something else. Because what we really want to do is establish a creative practice, something that we can show up and do on a, on a repeatable basis. Now, whether that's every day, whether that's once a week, it might just be, you know, once a month when you have your craft gathering, or it might just be once a quarter when we're heading into a picture to page show. Whatever your routine is that works for you, like I said, you do you, find something that works. So I would love to hear in the comments, what works for you? Do you set aside some time every day? Do you set aside a time each week? Do you have regular monthly get togethers? What do you do to give yourself that creative time and that way to, you know, wait and do you wait for the inspiration to strike? Do you wait till you need to make a card at the last minute? Or do you do something more regularly? Let us know what works in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Now let's just have a quick look at the comments. Hello, Chris. Hello, Kylie. Hi, Florina. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Val. Hi, Diana and Wendy. It's lovely to see all the regular here. And of course, so lovely to have you all here in the replay as well, because it doesn't matter whether you're watching live or in a replay. You are all part of our crafting community and equally appreciated and loved. Okay, so a dash of inspiration. You do you. Let us know in the comments what works to perhaps give people some other ideas. Now, Bendigo Show, can you believe it? Eight weeks away. Our applications for retailers have opened and we've had a phenomenal response. So Bendigo Show, Saturday the 20th and 21st of March 2021. Now we are moving, so please make sure you make a note of that somewhere and you don't end up in the wrong place. We are going to be at the Bendigo Events and Exhibition Centre and we're going to be in the foyer in the multi-purpose room. So not in the big shed, in the fully air-conditioned room where it's got fantastic access, good parking, all at the one level, of course, all the facilities that we need, and it is at 42 to 72 Holmes Road, Bendigo, or maybe it's North Bendigo. So again, all the details are on our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au and click on the Bendigo logo. That tells you um, what bus, if you're catching the bus, what trains you can catch, and that'll have all the details for parking as we get closer as well. And we are really excited to be in this new venue to really offer a, you know, a fantastic show experience. Now, what else have we got? Of course, we are up to our ears in COVID safe planning as well. So there won't be anything that you wouldn't come to expect anywhere else around Victoria at the moment. So we'll be asking you to check in. We'll be asking you to wear masks, to sanitize and do your best to keep a distance. Now, of course, things may change and hopefully relax over the coming weeks, hopefully not tighten up. 
but that will certainly be our show baseline. We think if we continue to do those four things, know that we're there. Of course, don't turn off if you're unwell. Sanitise your hands, wear a mask, do our best to keep our distancing, then we know we can keep each other safe. And of course, that is so important. Ah, excellent. We've got some good ideas coming through on how to get our creative time. So um, where am I at? Yeah, so COVID safe planning, we're going to make sure we've got all the permits and we'll do our very best to keep ourselves and each other safe. Now, of course, for the Paper Craft Posse group on Facebook, we are looking forward to two gatherings ahead of the Bendigo Show. Our first one will be on Saturday the 20th of February here in our Mount Waverley studios in Melbourne. And our second one will be on Saturday the 28th of February. Now, we're still looking for a venue. We'll be um, finalising that in the next couple of weeks. But, of course, for all the details, make sure you're a member of the Paper Craft Posse group on Facebook. And, of course, look out there for details because there will be um, information when the when the gatherings are together, as well as online tickets and perhaps any limits around our COVID safe planning as well. So we've talked about our dash of inspiration. We've talked about our Bendigo show. So the last thing I did want to just share with you is our online video casting. Now we are again up to our ears and planning that as well. Um, I can't tell you too much at the moment. It's going to be similar but different to what we've already done. Of course, we want the opportunity to reach out to you through the internet as well as in-person shows so that we can get to know our retailers better, we can spot what they're doing, but we also want it to be a bit broader than that as well and reach out beyond the bounds of paper crafting and talk more broadly about creativity and wellness and connecting with our community. So there's lots going on behind the scenes and we really look forward to announcing all that. We're planning on kicking it off probably early to mid-February so we can get those kids back to school, we can get ourselves back into routine and then really look forward to some spectacular crafty connections in 2021. Excellent. Okay. Hello, Leanne. Lovely to see you there. So that is it for this week's update. Continue to share your crafting inspiration in the comments. Let us know what you do to get that crafting time in. Where do you find inspiration? Is it some time each day? Is it a weekly session, a regular monthly arrangement or something else altogether? We would love to hear your thoughts and see what else might work for our other crafters that perhaps are lacking that little bit of inspiration at the moment. But of course, we just need to make sure that whichever way works for us, that we do it, we stick to it, we learn and whenever we get frustrated, come back to the From Picture to Page page and ask questions. Contact the retailers if you've bought something from them and it's not working as you anticipated or if you've got something that's not quite working, then again, reach out. We're here to help you create through 2021. So thank you again for being here with us. Of course, as always, there is a lot you can do to help us as well and be part of our community. Make sure you give us a like, add a comment, share us with your crafty friends. Of course, if you have a little bit of time on your hands, write us a review. Now, whether it's from picture to page, or for one of our retailers, and whether that's on Google or on Facebook, jump in, give us five stars, let us know what we're doing well. Of course, any complaints, contact the individuals directly. We don't need to splash all our dirty laundry all over social media. And of course, for all the information, head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. We can get all the updates on the shows. Um, it's where the tickets will be available about a month out from each show. And of course, join our mailing list we have no flyers printed this year for 2021 because goodness knows what was happening. But discount vouchers and all of the other good stuff will come out through our email list ahead of the shows. So, of course, if you have any questions, pop them in the comment below or send me a message. And I really look forward to connecting with you throughout 2021. So this is Michelle signing off. We hope you have a crafty day.